with a whole bunch of ladies from the Fantastic Ladies. Of course everybody will be linked down below and the group as well. I've said something similar <laughs> about six times in a row now. That's what it feels like. Um, I am bulk filming in case you're wondering. Um, I am literally doing almost two weeks, weeks worth of videos in one day. So um, I'm going to look the same in all my videos. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Every Day's Holiday um, project, which had a uh, holiday for each month, plus a bonus holiday, which I found out later could have been any holiday I wanted, but that's not quite how I read it, so I just used the holiday that they had suggested, which is um, Dutch King's Day. But anyway, uh, I don't really think too much moved uh, this month. Um, yeah. I didn't really wear makeup a lot in February, so yeah, I need to do better with that. Anyway, I will just get on to it. Uh, New Year's was Stroke of Midnight, which is a polish from L'Oreal. This didn't get used. Uh, as I've said in every other video I've posted or filmed so far, in February I pretty much only wore purple nail polish for Hass Purple Palooza. If you want to know what that is, go and have a look on Instagram, search for the hashtag Hass Purple Palooza, and you will see over 200 purple nail polish swatches from me and a few other ladies on Instagram, which I did for my birthday, which is at the end of February which would be today, when I'm filming. That's how I'm spending my birthday. <laughs> For Valentine's, we have French Kiss from Medusa uh, Makeup. This is the lip gloss I was kind of focusing on in February, um, you know, for Valentine's and stuff like that. I can't see where I am in this. It doesn't slide down. I've got a little bit of it on top of the other lipsticks I'm wearing today. It's pretty much what I did when I wore lipstick. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it is. So, uh, For St. Patrick's Day we have the citrus end of the Citrus Thunder Max Factor uh, Smoky Eye Effect Cream Eyeshadow thing. Uh, this honestly just check. Yeah, it doesn't look any different to where it was before, but this one might actually get some movement in March. Um, it is part of a another project that I am doing, which is focusing on green, yellow, and gold products. So it's in that to get me to focus a little bit more. For Easter, we have Irresistible Chocolates from Essence. I think I used this once in February. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember being particularly impressed by it. That's, that's what they look like. I don't think I swatched these when I... I mean, it looks really good, but I think from what I remember, they kind of blended away to almost nothing, which was a little frustrating. Uh, yeah, so, but as I said, I didn't really get very far with them. Um, the one that I have for Cinco de Mayo, originally I had Fierce and Tangy color tattoo. I swapped that out for Fuchsia Fever color tattoo. I didn't use this at all in February. Uh, Flag Day, which um, I was watching Jessica from Baseball and Beauty, and she was saying that Flag Day could you could have used um, anything like associated with your own country, like your own flag, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, for some reason, I have the Clay Time Loose Bronzer in for this. Maybe because Australia is known as the country where there's bronze goddesses and stuff. I don't know because I'm not one. Uh, I think I used this once the other day. Um, it's very pigmented. Um, a little bit goes a very long way. Um. Mm. 
yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what that... This may be a product that at the end of the year gets decluttered. It wouldn't be the only thing that may well get decluttered. The Cobalt and Rose Nail Polish for 4th of July. It didn't get used. International Beer Day. Um, the Improper Copper L'Oreal Pigment. Didn't get used. Positive Energy from Nicole White OPI for 9-11 Remembrance Day. Didn't get used. Uh, for Halloween, I had an LA Colors liquid eyeliner, which I pulled out because it had gone, started to go really stupid and yucky. And then I pulled in the Princess liquid eyeliner last time. I don't have either one of them sitting next to me. The thing with the Princess um, liquid eyeliner, the brush on it was like really hard. It was like a felt tip pen but like a rigid felt tip pen but the other thing I noticed is that I could literally feel the eyeliner on my eyelids like when it dried it dried very firm um, almost crunchy kind of feeling and I could feel it along my lash line and it's a very unpleasant kind of feeling and um, because my eyes water quite a bit sometimes when I'm wearing makeup um, if it got any water on it, it just smudged everywhere. Even if I set it with um, eyeshadow, which I was doing, like setting it with a black eyeshadow, it just made a mess and it just went everywhere. And I was just like, no, I'm not having that. So it got decluttered as well. So that's uh, two eyeliners out of my collection. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, I guess, at least some kind of progress. The one for... So I actually have nothing in for Halloween now. The one for Thanksgiving was Espresso from the Lorac, Lorac Pro 1 palette. Uh, I didn't touch that one in the last month. Um, again, it's one of those shadows that probably isn't going to get any attention until um, similar type shadows in my Pan That palette have had pan hidden on them. That's pretty much all I'm trying to do with my pan that palette is just hit pan in all the different colours. So once I do I will go back and focus on some of the other shadows I've got. Uh, Christmas is tinsel from the Kat Von D Metal Matte palette. Which is that one right there. It's a silver. Um, Uh, it is one of those ones that won't get focused on until the silvers that are in my pan palette have both been had pan hit in them and hopefully one of those will be in March so I think there's only one more in there that's that kind of colour so yeah that's that the uh, Dutch Kings Day product is the flash pop-up eyeliner in orange um, I haven't actually touched this one this month so that is it for my update for Every Day is a Holiday. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pant Up videos. Don't forget, everybody else is linked down there as well. And the Fantastic Ladies group. Make sure you go and check them all out. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.